Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition. It's Thor Gunnarsson. It's the Bolton Wanderers on a quest for Champions League glory. Sit back, relax, get in your comfy chair, grab your favourite beverage, turn on that big screen TV, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition crew mode. FIFA 21 at Bolton Wanderers. We've moved up to 19th position after some very big goal scoring games in the last episode. Only one of those was in the league. The other one was in the FA Cup and at the uh, the uh, the League Cup trophy or whatever it is. Um, so I think it's time that we have a little bit of a go at a slider setup. Now I haven't perfected my own one. I have been working on that. But for today's episode, we're going to try out Cutsy sliders. If you don't know who Cutsy is, I don't know what rock you're living under. He's doing a Harrogate Town series. Um, so we're going to try out his sliders. The link will be in the description to his slider video. If you check the description of that video, it will show you the current sliders. Uh, that's what he's using in his series. So let's give that a crack over the three games today and uh, you know see if it provides us with a little bit more of a challenge. Let's jump into it though with a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is in for Bergman and the Icelandic left back and it comes in from Vito Plays. Thank you very much for your comment. 37 thumbs up, well done to everyone who got involved. He's gone with the number 18 because his brother is 18 apparently. Short socks, no undershirt, the Nemesis Adidas black boots and some blue and red bands on his arms. He is ready to go. Let's give you someone else to upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade will be for Sebastian Vizega, uh, the right back that he is now. Now, if you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comment section. Thumbs up on the ones you like, and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. Right, the first game of today's episode is at St. James Park. We're taking on Exodus City. Northdale will start up top because, obviously, Elliot's got a red card. And let's test out these sliders. So, let's have a quick look at them. Right, here's a quick look at the sliders. Sprint speed 49, acceleration 48, shot error up to 68, pass error at 55, shot speed 54, pass speed 50, injuries up to 70, but the severity down to 40. 36 for the goalkeeper ability, all right. Uh, 49 for marking, 23 run frequency, 51 line height, 45 line length, 42 line width, and the fullback positioning is at 20, and the first touch control error at 53. We move across to the CPU, 49, 49, 57, 52, 54, 50, uh, 70, 40, and then 36, 51, 25, 51, 45, 42, uh, full back at 20, and the first touch control error down at 47. So let's see if this gives us some more competitive gameplay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are on the road at Exeter City, and uh, our loop in some scintillating form. Can the young dumpling get going here today? And uh, let's see if we can get a win. Oh, there's a quick ball through, and there's a strike. Good save from Jones. An early corner here for Exeter City as we uh, get adjusted to this game. Oh, there's an early goal. <laughs> oh. All right, Exeter City 1, Bolton 0. We're just trying to control the space, but a quick fire shot from Bold Man Law. And uh, we see ourselves 1-0 down. Well, we want a competition. We'll see how this plays out. 1-0 to Exeter City. As Jones couldn't uh, take care of that low ball. I mean, we were controlling the space. We got a touch there. It slips out the back. The ball control isn't there. And then this doesn't throw a foot in. And bang, 1-0. And it's good build up here from Exit out. They're coming in again. Nishi out there trying to corral. Does enough to push his man backwards, but can't take the ball away. Comes in again. Taylor feeds it off. Here's Law again. Inside. Bowman. Good save from Jones. Exit of City. All over us here early. And it's a really good save from Alex Jobs. Oh, Leonard used his noggin. Doesn't get out there quick enough. Zanga tries to get the clearance. It's all Exeter here at the moment. Oh, Randall Schultz, that's why. Gets the run now. Johan Schultz drives his way forward. Can he get a cross into the box? He'll play it back. Has North dealt. Well, where was that headed? And here's Kasu. Wallace works his way into the box, lays it off. Al Lou, boy, oh, slow. Menendez, Bissoon plays one through as Wallace. Wallace pushes forward, lays it off. Al Lou, he got a foot on it. The keeper spilled it, but it's cleared away. Oh my days! That was some quick football from Exeter, but uh, luckily enough, he's been called offside. Well, 
those uh, high days. Big scoring, look to be over already. Drives his way forward, he's got Wallace here out wide. Wallace will look inside, and oh, Northdale couldn't get there. He's running on a treadmill. Oh, they've opened this up again. Randall now, Bazinga there with him, holds him up nicely. Bazinga trying to take the ball off him, but can't get a foot in. Does enough to hold up. But Exeter happy with possession rather than attacking here at the moment. Which just shows that our defence is okay. Passing around. Get in there, Leonard. Bazinga, Leonard. Oh, that was dangerous. Kasun, Wallace. Pushes his way forward, out wide now, Johan Schultz, we've got the break here, Johan Schultz drives his way forward, he'll cross it up for Wallace, oh Sweeney, good challenge, and that's probably half time, no, yes, there's the whistle, 1-0 down to Exeter City, now he scored a known goal, doesn't count though, 1-0, Zaniga, Northdale, out wide, Schultz, back inside, Northdale works his way into the box, Lays it off. No, he doesn't. He'll get it back here. Now finds Leonard. Leonard needs to look inside. Al Lou, flick it on, son. He does. He finds Wallace. Wallace. Well, that's way off target. And it's knocked out. Lays it off. Johan Schultz has been given some space. Johan Schultz works his way across. Lays it off. Wallace, there we go. That's a goal for sure. 1-1. One, one. Tobias Wallace on the board. His fourth goal of the season. We find ourselves an equaliser. A good ball there from Johan Schultz across the box. And Tobias Wallace finds the finish. And the space just opens up. Wallace there getting free. And just a simple tap home at the end of the day. 1-1. One, one. Menendez gets his ball out here for Tobias Wallace. Drives his way forward. Cuts back inside. He'll look forward. Lou gets a touch on it. No one there to clean up the crumbs. North Dell. Plays one forward now, wants our Lou picked out, but Schultz is there, he tries to flick on, he's destroyed. And here comes Exeter, 71 minutes gone here, I'll try and open us up, Menendez does well, Krejci needs to drop back here, and he just bollocks his way through, Krejci with a big challenge, but it'll be a free kick for Exeter City. Oh, we're going to get some fresh legs on here, Evans Payne and Nillian for Wallace, Leonard and Lou, uh, Lou dead already, and uh, we'll put Schultz up top. Zaga finds Nil. Nil will push forward here, down to the pocket. Might need some assistance. Crosses it in the back stick. Oh, Schultz was there. He's offside. It was a good strike in the end. And Schultz. Can he create something? Northdale makes the run. There is Northdale to finish. Oh, good save from Ward. Corner for Bolton. Four minutes of injury time, here's Krejci. Plays it forward. Northdale. Needed to flick it on quicker, got caught napping on the ball. Taylor, Belrano. Press coming here from Bolton, a long ball down the line. We'll need to be careful here. Smurden decides to retreat. Belrano, oh maybe they're playing for a draw. Sweeney goes long, finds key to Fisher, inside. Jose out wide, here's Key, Menendez slides in, brilliant. Here's Caprice, laid off for Jose. Oh, it's five minutes, ref. Fuck. 2-1 Exeter City. They get themselves a late winner here. Ah, what else could we do there? Running on fumes, trying to control the space. And they've got themselves a late winner. Lovely manoeuvres there from Menendez. But who's marking this man coming through? Crazy was asleep. Bang. And there is our demise. 2-1. Oh, and instantly the whistle. A 2-1 defeat on the road. Unlucky boys. Well, nine shots to eight. They had most of the possession. A competitive game. A 2-1 defeat, though. It's time for jokes with justice. Did you hear the rumour about butter? Well, I'm not going to spread it. <laughs> there we go. Jokes with justice. 
Second game of today's episode, we're back at home at the University of Bolton Stadium. We host Grimsby Town. Elliot back into the lineup after serving his suspension. Evans and uh, Karan check in at centre back. Let's get into this game. See if we can get a victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go back at home at the Big Dome, the University of Bolton Stadium, as we host Grimsby Town. Let's see if we can get ourselves a victory here today. Zaga down the line, finds Schultz. Gets a bit of an opening here, Schultz. He'll drive his way forward. He'll look deep inside, and Nathan Elliott can't get on the end of that one. Good from Schultz, defensive effort. Here's Lennon, plays it back out, has Schultz now. Has Elliot out wide. Elliot will wait for that run. Gets it again from Schultz. He needs to turn into the playmaker here. Johan Schultz drives his way forward. He's into the box. Can he finish? He'll shoot. Oh, and he's just missed. Tackle from Menendez. He's going to need some assistance to get this out of the defense. And he finds Bergman. Bergman now for Leonard. Leonard out to Vizega. Vizega finds Schultz. And through now for Al Lowe. Lowe can't come through this time. Picked off by a waterfall. Oh, they found an opening here. No one back. Come on, lads. Here's the strike. John's good save. Oh, off the side mark. Clear, boys. Oh, for Zyga. What the fuck was that? Absolutely custard. <laughs> oh, we're surviving. Jones does well. Evans picked out, Kasun can't get on the ball. Here's Taylor through the middle, Hanson. He'll lay it off quickly, Scannell. Bergman completely left for dust. Here they come, Grimsby, offside lad. Well, a good block from Bergman, but it's a corner here for Grimsby Town. Half an hour gone here in the first. A deep line ball. Elliot gone up, hasn't hurt himself, that's good. Bergman in the way again. Bergman, Evans. Al Lowe lays it back off. Evans gets a run on. Here is Evans. Drives his way forward. He'll need to cut back. Oh, what was that? Too easy for the goalkeeper. Casted leg. But for Cran. Soon. Al Lowe. Back off for Evans. He'll look to get this one inside. Nathan Elliott! There we go! 1 0 Bolton Wanderers! Nathan Elliott scores his eighth goal of the season. And finally we break through. Don't you touch that camera, Nathan. You get away, lad. The class finish. The flames erupt. The crowd loves it. And Al Lou sends up Evans, who gets the ball inside. Nathan Elliott has done the keeper in there. In a prime position to score. And it's 1-0 to Bolton Wanderers. A good finish from Nathan Elliott. Leonard gets the steal. Al Lowe plays one forward. Nathan Elliott again. He's in on goal. Can he finish this time? Nathan Elliott! Let's go! Two in two minutes. And the big Englishman, well, he served his red card. He's had himself a rest. And he's come back fit and firing. He's been out of the clubs, having a few beers, just getting relaxed. And it looks like that has paid off. And maybe Thor Gunnison will send the whole team out on the piss. Who knows? Nathan Elliott with the finish. Keep you got a finger on it, it doesn't matter. It's 2 0 Bolton Wanderers. Let's go. And there is the half time whistle. A good five minutes there. Gives us the lead. 2 0 at half time. Oh, no one there. Get it out. Yes, Vizanga. Kasun, that's poor. Who are you giving that to? Jones, big save. Oh, there's a good ball over the top. And bang, great save from Jones. Oh, he just couldn't get up quick enough. No one getting back to help him out. And Grimsby find a goal, 2-1. 57 minutes gone. Well, Jones making some really good saves here, but unfortunately, he's not getting a lot of help from his defense. I mean, there's only so much a goalkeeper can do. That's a class save, but there's no one there. Bergman backing away, 2-1. Al Lowe gets the run on here from Evans. And Evans just pushes his way into the box. He'll have a crack. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, Gavan, good challenge. He just needs to slip it off here. He does. He finds Evans. Can Evans do something? A little bit of trick. Oh, it's lovely. Works his way inside. Has Nathan Elliott. He'll flick on. Can he get Leonard? No, oh, Rose comes through. Leonard there. Can't take it on. And he just dumps him for good measure. Holy shit. Counter attack now. Hansen pushes forward. Caban needs to do some work. Can he get a tackle in? Hold him up, lad. 
does well, corrals him. Oh my days, Hanson is through here. And he plays it, oh that is sweaty, absolute sweat from Grimsby Town. And they equalise in the 71st minute, it's 2-2. Two -two. Oh our defence is slow, they are out on their feet. Look, no one could run, Menendez running in the wrong direction. And there was the three on two. And we just got done on the counter. Oh, we've been opened up again, but George with a good low save. Corner for Grimsby. How did he get down to that? Good save. Right, 12 minutes ago, we'll make the changes. Wallace, Rottenberg, Northdale check in. Evans, Leonard, they're all out. Lou goes to the bench. Northdale, big challenge. Can't take the ball with him though. Kasun can. Nathan Elliott lays it off. Johan Schultz, let's go! Three two balls and Wanderers. Johan Schultz with the finish. His fourth goal of the season. And Bolton find a way to score again. We've got the lead here. Three two. The home fans love it. Nathan Elliott with the assist now. And Johan Schultz pelted that one home. 3 2 to the Trotters. Kasun gets the touch. Here's Northdale. This is going to push on forward and see if we can get some legs out of Wallace. But looks like Grimsby will recover. Hewitt. Holman. Plays it through. Still time here for Grimsby. That was played out wide. Menendez is going to have to cover some space here. Green. Oh, Menendez. And they get a free kick out of it. Oh, dear. Defend, boys. Defend. Good. Correct. Vizanga gets a touch. Here it goes, Kasur. North Del running. Lay it across, though. Johan Schultz. Plays it forward, Nathan Elliott, is he onside? He might be, Nathan Elliott, he's got a hat-trick! Oh, that's how you finish off a game. 4-2 Bolton, and the counter-attack works. Lovely ball over the top to Johan Schultz. Feeds it out in front of Nathan Elliott, and he runs on cool as a cucumber. Thanks very much for coming. Keep up, shell shot, like a deer in the headlights. It's 4-2, Bolton Wanderers, let's go. And there is the whistle, three points in the bank for Bolton. Will Buddy take that? Well, Nathan Elliott with a perfect 10. We only had six shots for the game. Grimsby were all over us, but somehow we fight through. 4-2, three points in the bank. Time for the third and final game of today's episode. Now, I know things are probably progressing a little bit slow for you uh, with only three games and three episodes per week. Um, one of that is due to the time that I have to create these episodes, but the other thing that probably plays into value into that is that we don't have full mods yet, and this series will really come alive once those PC mods are available to us. I don't want to get into like season three and then finally we get mods. So, you know, this slow progression, hopefully you're still enjoying it. Um, this long first season, but hopefully that means that, you know, those mods are already uh, earlier on in this season and we can start adding third kits and custom banners and, and really bringing this series to life. So let's jump into this one, the final game of today's episode against Port Vale. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Elliott coming off a blinder. He's up front with Lou, who's been quiet in the last couple of games, but the young dumpling doesn't usually hide away for too long. Let's see how we go here against Port Vale. Ooh, look at their new kits. And a good ball over the top here, Port Vale, rush forward, Hurst, lays it back, no one tracking, Gibbons, Bergman tries to get in, ah, Hurst, you're offside, mate. Oh, is he offside? I don't think he is. Oh, he might be. Very lucky there, Port Vale, opening us up like a tuna tuna. But uh, fortunately enough, just offside. There's Wallace, giving some space to run. Tobias Wallace drives his way forward. He'll cross in, oh. Elliot. Oh, I think it was offside anyway, but uh, that's a poor little finish. No, just shit out. Oh, crazy, went for a big challenge and that's opened us up here. We come across to the outside. Bergman's gonna have to do some work. 
does well, doesn't get sidestepped. Gibbons, Bergman does the business. And they come again, Bergman, oh, who's turned that time? Menendez tries to get in and help out. Gibbons has too much space here, boys. Get in there, lay a challenge. Hurst, white head over the top. Cullen, he'll look around. Crazy there with him and does well. Can't get a clean ball out. We'll have to reset. Oh, lovely little touch there from Leonard. That opens it up here for Johan Schultz, who drives his way forward again. Johan Schultz, he'll cross it deep. Nathan Elliott, no, Smith gets back. Corner for Bolton Wanderers. That one's driven in. Oh! <laughs> who knows who took that? I had no idea what was happening. Oh, it's another corner. Let's go. Kasun. Oh, that one's too easy. Oh, it's a good header down. Hurst will look for a cross here. Bergman there. Menendez. Here's the strike. Jones does well. Throw it out quickly here. Johan Schultz. Lays it off, Leonard, back one minute of stoppage time. Johan Schultz on a run again. He'll drive his way forward. He's got Nathan Elliott on the edge of the box. Smith runs him down again. And we're probably gonna go into the sheds here and nil all. Well, both teams fighting for it. It's nil nil. Oh, unmarked. And there's needs to close. Crazy there, just bundled away. Schultz gets the touch. Go, Johan. Fires it forward down the line. Nathan Elliott. He's going to need some help. Lays it off and gets it here from Johan Schultz. Who has a crack from range. Works the goalkeeper. We'll get a corner. Trying some magic. Here's Al Lou. And he opens up. He needs a goal today, Al Lou. He's been quiet. The dumplings are cold. Go for Menendez. Oh, and then just dump. Nothing for the ref. Soft ref. Oh, yeah, call that one, you dickhead. Yellow card for Krejci. Free kick for Port Vale. Now this game's getting a little bit of spite into it. Up and over. Oh, he's hit the sidebar. Oh, goodness gracious. Krejci, don't get yourself sent off, lad. Oh, no. No, don't. Oh, what ref? You are fucking having a laugh, son. Crazy's red card and sent off down to 10 men. He's fucking sneezed on him. Ah, oh, soft. Fuck. All right, we're going to make one change. Granny in at Fort Leonard. Let's shift everyone back. Let's see if we can uh, save this one. Oh, hello, ref. You red card me, and you don't give nothing for that. Soft. All right, we'll make the last changes. Elliot can check out. Rottenberg into the midfield. Let's get defensive here. See if we can salvage this as a draw at least. Slips on through. Al Lowe gets the touch, works his way inside. Al Lowe, can he get a free? Oh, Lowe. Choked. Bergman down the line. It's a good ball. Evans drives his way forward. He's picked out. Who's getting on this one? Menendez misses out. And it is a free kick. Oh, no. Don't get caught on the counter here, lads. Ten minutes to go. Everyone needs to put in a shift. Oh, Coran gets the touch. Rottenberg might get a run on here. No one's picked him up. Drives his way forward. Lays it off to Schultz. Schultz inside. Kasun. Evans. Oh, he just couldn't get it off his foot. Oh, there's one play forward. Jones, slow off his line. Oh, Jones! Yes! Around the outside, Port Vale with their last chance. Bergman can't get that tackle in. Oh, that one's played through. Jones! Come on down, lad! Fuck me, that is brilliant! He came off his line, and he got a full, I don't know, six-pack on it. Corner here for Port Vale. Deep into injury time. They make themselves a substitution. Defend, boys. Defend, boys. Oh, Schultz can't keep it in, but they're almost just running down the clock. I'll take a point from this one. 
It's been a spirit of displaying down to 10 men. It's a draw. Seven shots to five, even possession, good tackles. It was a tough encounter. Nil nil, we take a point. Right, Krejci has to, you know, completed his development plan to a centre back. Let's see if that gives him a change in rating. Up to a 59. So uh, he's not available for the next match because he's red carded, but, you know, that's a solid, solid change for us. And uh, let's just turn him into a ball playing defender because he might have to move back to. Uh, CDM at some stage, although pace might help him out, actually. Let's go defensive centre-back. And that is where we finish today's episode. 20 games are played, 6, 3, and 11 with 21 points. We sit in 19th position. Uh, we've got Colchester coming up next. I think they're doing all right. Yes, they are up in fourth. So, I mean, we used Cutsy Sliders today. I was happy with the gameplay. I thought it was competitive, uh, you know. It felt all right for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll probably stick with it for maybe the next episode. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But that's where we leave it today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the video...